All right, this is cool. We're, we're filling up the room. I thought it was a small room, but that, that makes the advantage that we can just fill it up with a bunch of people. So thank you so much for coming out today. I really, really appreciate it. I'm super excited for today's presentation. And um, today we're just going to get started. This Bitcoin course will orange pill your mom. And if you're not already orange pilled, then this course will get your mom interested in Bitcoin in non-jargon. Just one free Bitcoin course could prevent billions of people from becoming poor and oppressed including mom. <laughs> in this keynote, I'm going to reveal what this new Bitcoin course is, why it works, and how it saves anyone hundreds of hours of research and years of savings. But first, who am I? And why do I care about spreading Bitcoin? My name is David De Silva Rosa. I'm the founder of My Bitcoin Academy, and we help individuals protect their wealth and freedom using Bitcoin, obviously. I'm from the Netherlands, but I moved with my family to El Salvador, the wonderful country. And I realized the financial system is reaching its limits. Almost everyone in the world is in debt up to the eyeballs. Countries, companies, and individuals. Everyone is loaded with debt. And as the money stops working for everyday people, Billions may fall into poverty in the coming years. These are images from New York bread lines in 1932. Scary images. Can you imagine waiting in a bread line? Hoping to eat just a piece of bread tonight? Meanwhile, a global elite wants to replace the old failing system by the Great Reset. And if they win, it would radically transform our economic and social lives for the worse. That is, more centralization, less democracy, corporate control, financial surveillance, socialism, technocracy, carbon taxes, the list goes on. It's a bleak picture. And Bitcoin is our lifeboat. I think most of the people in this room are already convinced of that. But the question is, how can we convince other people of the same? Okay, David, cool. You know about Bitcoin and stuff? But how can you say your course saves hundreds of hours? Let's go back into time and talk from my own experience. The first time I heard about Bitcoin was 12 years, 4 months, and 24 days ago to this day. And I know that because I kept the very first email I ever received about Bitcoin. It says June 14th, 2011. My friend, by the way, this is how I look back then. You can see it. That's how I look. <laughs> so my friend, a hacker, sent me this Gawker article about the Silk Road. And it's titled, The Underground Website Where You Can Buy Any Drug Imaginable. Maybe some of you have seen this article back then as well. It described how to buy drugs on Silk Road, a dark web marketplace where anyone could sign up and buy drugs using Bitcoin. As you can see, there are prices in Bitcoin. You can buy some stuff that maybe you don't want to have. I don't, but some do. And the article actually did a pretty good job explaining Bitcoin. This was a long time ago. Bitcoins are a peer-to-peer -peer currency, not issued by banks or governments, and regulated by a network of other Bitcoin holders' computers. It goes on to say that cyberpunks, libertarians, and anarchists dream of a distributed digital economy outside the law. It's pretty accurate reporting. And it even mentioned Bitcoin's price. One Bitcoin is worth $8.67. Those are good times. So I read the article, and I made sure I understood everything that was in it. And what do you think I did? I completely dismissed it. <laughs> I, I pressed archive. And I wrote, I did write my, my friend back. I said, I read the article, but Bitcoins are traceable, so it's not going to work. It says right there. So fast forward two years later, 2013, and I bought my first Bitcoin. Yay. And what do you guess happened next? One month later, I sold it. <laughs> True story. 
And it took me four more years before I finally started studying Bitcoin. I'm not talking to Siri. Stop. And from 2017, that's when the good times came. I spent hundreds of hours listening to Bitcoin podcasts. I'm sure some of these podcasts are fam familiar to you. And I read a load of books, more books than I ever read in the years before that. So now how are we going to get millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, billions of people interested in Bitcoin? Should we promise them Lambos? I think they'll sell the bottom, just like I did. Doesn't work. Should we explain Bitcoin's technology? Hashing, proof of work, private keys, mumbo jumbo, doesn't speak to anyone if you're not into Bitcoin. So they won't care. No, we need to explain the full story about money and macro. And for those who don't know, macro is the broad factors that govern everything that's happening in the economy. And macroeconomics explains the monetary system and the financial reset that's coming. And I think we need this. It doesn't show the picture, there it is. We need this. Macroeconomics for dummies, but then with money and Bitcoin. So today, I'm announcing Bitcoin, hype or hope. The macro intro to Bitcoin. So this is a course I developed. It's seven videos, a whole ebook, online quizzes. It's on an online platform. And anyone is welcome to take it. It's for free. And it tells you the basics of money and macro. It prepares you for the monetary reset that's coming. And it's for all levels of Bitcoin knowledge, because I know that even as a newbie, you can learn a ton, but especially if you're into Bitcoin for a long time. Not everyone really understands what's happening and what's going on and what is going to happen, especially. You may have some vague ideas, but it's good to be very, very clear, especially when you're talking to other people about it. So do you want to see a short snippet of the course? That's like it. Let's see if this goes. Oh, there's no sound. There's no sound. There you go. But it's not working. There are no speakers, mister. <laughs> I think it doesn't work. That's very soft. OK. Let me do it like this. I don't think you guys can hear it. I was expecting there to be sound in the, in the room, so we're going to have to skip it. <laughs> oh, we can do the microphone. This is smart. How can I uh, think about that? Go back. No, it doesn't have captions for the whole thing. It should have. There we go. Lesson one, your life in 2044. The year is 2044. The world's undergone a radical transformation in the past 20 years. You remember how sovereign states worldwide saw their currencies collapse one by one, crushed by untenable debt. By devaluing their currencies, governments desperately trying to stimulate their economies to become more attractive for trade and investment. Meanwhile, citizens were robbed of their purchasing power. In hindsight, each currency was guaranteed to get destroyed by the relentless competition between countries. Only the strongest one, the United States dollar, remained. But even the dollar failed at the end of this unstable period. And with the collapse of the reserve currency, the world finally had to move on to a new financial system. Bitcoin has been the dominant form of money for a few years now. The sudden paradigm shift that happened still amazes you today. You regularly think back to the fiat world that was left behind. A world where a small group of officials pretended to control the money supply. A world with soaring prices, the social unrest that followed, and finally the unraveling of the institutions. Just a sneak peek, but it gives an impression. So you can sign up for free on mybitcoin.academy slash course. 
And let's, know, now let's go through the, through the course content. So we want to know what's inside. So first, money is credit. Inflation and wealth inequality are the signs that everyone can see around them. We see soaring prices. We see wealth inequality that's rising, obviously. But it's a challenge to explain these things in a very, very simple way that anyone can, can understand. So that's the focus of the first lesson in the course. Then we go on with the credit cycle, because money is credit in today's system. And it explains the expansions and recessions that we see every, every few years. And they keep coming, and it doesn't get any, any better. Central planners that are uh, manipulating the interest rates and printing money. There are some myths that are, that are debunked in the, in the course as well. And then the next lesson is about the dollar shortage, the currency inflation and global instability that's looming. And then we end with the end game, which looks like a dollar collapse and potential financial tyranny. So why does this work? Why are money and macro the best intro to Bitcoin? Well, it's because we start with the why. And we should always start with why. It's a framework for building movements and inspiring people. It's a very well-known book by Simon Sinek. It's called Start With Why. And it explains that leaders should spend most of their time communicating why, followed by how and what. So we go to the inner circle, orange, it says why, and we move outward to the how and the what. And it works because science. Why and how speak to the oldest part of the brain, the limbic system. It controls a person's feelings, decisions, and behavior. And what speaks to the neocortex, the youngest and most evolved part of the brain responsible for analytical thought and language. It helps rationalize decisions. So the, we explain the problem first, which I believe is encompassed in the money and macro part, and then we bring the solution, which is Bitcoin. So we have a Bitcoin course which focuses on money and macro, and Bitcoin is only introduced at the very end of it. It's not a, this is how Bitcoin works course, or explain all the technology of it and all the promise of it. No, we start with the problem, and everyday people should understand what's coming in the, in the uh, few decades that are ahead of us, and then they can start to understand why we actually need to change the whole system. It's like the, um, the famous scene in Wolf of Wall Street, where Leonardo DiCaprio tries to have his, um, uh, the guy that works for him as a, as a salesman tries to have him sell the pen. And they have difficulty coming up with the best strategy to sell the pen. So if we want to sell Bitcoin, we need to first sell the problem. And then we can gum, come to Bitcoin as the solution, which will protect your wealth and freedom. Money is technology after all, and Bitcoin is simply the best form. It's not difficult to explain it, but do it in a very short way that is easily digestible for, for a broad audience. That was my challenge. And Bitcoin obviously resists inflation and censorship, as we most of us know. So how does this save hundreds of hours studying and years of savings? Well, as a newcomer into the space, my learning journey was spontaneous and random. I didn't go from A to B directly. I just went in circles and this podcast, that podcast, that book, this book. This article is just random as it comes in one stream on Twitter and wherever, on YouTube. You just click suggestion. Suggest. It's not one well-organized package of knowledge. So that was my goal, to bring something to the table that gets someone from A to B in one week. Short videos, 15 to 25 minutes a piece. And have exercises, quizzes at the end of it so people can verify their knowledge, their understanding of the material. And my ignorance and greed led me to buy without conviction. And that's why I sold, after all. I didn't understand what I was buying into. I traded Bitcoin. I traded crypto. I repent. And I lost years of potential Bitcoin savings. And I'm probably not alone in that. So as Bitcoin educators, we want to make sure that the next generation of people coming in are not making the same mistakes as we did. Because otherwise, this is what you get. This is what my friends think I do. This is what my mom thinks I'm doing, gambling. This is what the media thinks I'm doing, criminal activity. What, others, what other traders think I do, shoveling cash into the toilet. And I think I'm a genius, but really I'm just, 
I don't know what I'm doing. And that's a trader. But it, and it applies to you know, Bitcoin in general. If you don't know what you're doing, you can get eaten alive. So moreover, I quickly learned how Bitcoin worked, but I didn't really understand the financial system and what to expect. Now, anyone has access to a complete Bitcoin course on money and macro. No more stacks of books, no more hours and hours upon podcasts. And uh, as educators, no more talking to 100,000 different people one-on-one, -on -one, spending hours per individual. We can just send them this resource. So I invite you all to go to the website, mybitcoin.academy slash course, sign up for free. You can send it to your mom, you can send it to your dad, you can send it to whoever you want. And I'm very, very interested to see how people are going to react to it and especially the feedback that I'm going to get. Because this is a living thing. This is not going to be, okay, that's it, it's done. Obviously, we need to keep improving. We need to get it out there and, uh, and see how we can keep growing. Also, if you're watching this video right now on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe the video. And thank you so much for your attention. I have a booth, so if you want to talk to me after the presentation, you're very welcome. I'd love to talk to as many people as possible, so love to love to see you there. If there are any questions, I think there's, this could be a good time to, uh, to go through that. Thank you very much. I think we still got time, right? In the back. Hi, everybody. My name is Neil. I'd like to thank you first for your great presentation. It's very clear and very useful. Uh, I have a question. Uh, does the, the economic reset that you're talking about, uh, did you give the year 2024 as an example, or did you predict that it will happen in that period? Excellent question. So the first lesson is kind of a imaginary piece. It's a, it's a very short lesson, which will take people 20 years into the future. 2044, I picked a date. And this is what it could look like. And the purpose of that lesson is to identify those who have resistance. They don't want to you know, have an open mind and believe in something that can change. Because we have to disarm that directly and confront it and say, no, things can change. Look at the internet. Look at new technology that comes about all the time. And um, it's also just to paint a picture for those that do have an open mind. Hey, this is what it could look like as a teaser. So they follow and, and continue into the course. So it's not, definitely not a prediction. And the course makes it very clear that it's not. But I thought it was a great way to, uh, to get the spirits heat, heated up and, and ready for um, the more thorough part, which is on the economics and the money side. Yeah, thanks. Other questions? In the back, all the way in the back. Mm -hmm. No, I will not monetize this. So it's outrageous. I've been working on this literally for a year. I've asked a ton of very smart people, much smarter than I, to help me uh, review it, to make sure the quality is there. Um, but I've been given all of these resources that I mentioned previously, the books and, the, and the, all of the other resources, and I wanted to summarize it and synthesize it and pay it forward. So my goal is to attract and help as many people as possible. Um, and it's perhaps a, a good moment to say that this is not going to stay on the website, on the course itself. So my Bitcoin Academy, um, the, the video of this presentation is going to be the first video on the YouTube channel. And soon, very soon, don't quote me, um, there are going to be very regular videos uh, on the topics that are included in the course to you know, gra uh, grab attention from a, from a wide audience on, on YouTube, which I believe is the, is the prime platform to be at. So the goal is to, to attract more people, educate more people, and help more people. And how I'm gonna you know, uh, live, I'll, I'll see that after. But right now, it's not the priority. Thank you.
And the lady just before you had another question, I think. No, because that's the why, that's that you go, you get into the how and the what. And first, people need to be very motivated. And if they, obviously, that, that could be, you know, a follow up course of some sorts, or that could be something I can help personally with, or point to other resources. But I need to focus my attention first on what I think is lacking in the space. Uh, so that's why I decided to do it like this. So Bitcoin is briefly mentioned at the beginning in that introductory 2044 uh, picture that I paint, and then at the very last lesson uh, to give people an idea of their Bitcoin potential and what would it change for their life if all of a sudden they would start saving in, in Bitcoin and using the, the Bitcoin uh, technology. Um, but those are f steps that come after. So it's like, okay, now what? I'll have other resources to help people with that. Yeah. Do we have more time? Hmm? We're, we're good. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And uh, please come talk to me if you have more questions. <laughs>